And good morning and welcome to another edition of Tap Fishing on Barara Waters, out and about by myself today, sorry there's a bug. Um, bit of fresh up in um, the Barara, the water's very brown, extremely brown, a lot of fresh water. We had a lot of rain lately, so um, not the best time but it's the only time so get to go out. So a few hours today, I've only got the morning window, um, it's a long way to drive just for a morning window but we'll give it a go anyway. Alright, water temp's about 27 up here which is decent very decent very warm um, the plan today so you gotta have a plan when you go fishing okay so I'm gonna hit a few holes on the way out of Barrera um, maybe for some juice I'll be trying a new uh, lure power bait lure okay um, I'll show you that guys later um, yeah so we're gonna be hitting the deep holes a couple of deep holes and then nothing happens there we're gonna smash some edges um, see what comes up so we're hoping for um, it's a bit of a bust up there little Taylor busting up um, yeah, maybe a dew in the morning or a big flatty, fingers crossed. And uh, if that doesn't happen, then we're going to hit some brim and some decent sized flatty on the edges. So we'll see what happens. All right, that's the plan, okay? So that's what we're going out for. We're going to have a plan, and that's our plan. All right, and see what happens. So fingers crossed, hit that music. A bit of dew fish, flathead, big flathead fish. No luck. One one hit, I guess. One bump. Um, kept on casting the same spot, nothing. So I'm gonna hit the edges where the tide's up. Tide's starting to turn. So it's a good time to come up in here, hit these edges for brim. Got the eco gear on. So we're gonna see if we can get up nice and close. We're in um fish here before, seven meters of water. Look how close we are to the edge. So, a little bit of wind, a little bit of wind, but doesn't matter. So, I got the worm rig on. I've got the, um, I'll give you a look at it, the uh, worm hook with the running sinker. The wind's a bait and tackle style. Yeah, definitely the wind's blowing us. Like, I'm not sure if the current's still coming in, tide's still coming in. I don't think so. I think it's trying to change. It's got a few hits now, first hits. First hit, guys, it's good to have a hit. Just a bump. You know what I mean? Just a bump. So the reason being coming here, it's very deep along here. It's a big channel that runs along the side here. Goes in from like three meters, then it comes down to six. So this whole edge is a big, thick, we say highway. All right. We'll say we'll go highway. All right, so hopefully the fish are sitting on the edges of the highway, waiting for something to come along like my lure. And what we'll do is we'll just, um, I'll stay here. Because you know, the wind's going this way, we'll, um, I'll bump up, start working my way down the edge. That way the, the bow stays in the front of the boat. Bite. Fish on, fish on. Little brimbo, little brim in the current. First fish of the day. Any small, changed out to the worm. It's not bad, not a bad size, little brim. Late 20s. First fish of the day. Yeah, I had the crawler on, so I changed out because they actually got bit off the crawler. Okay. Oh, you got me, you bastard. Okay, settle, settle. It's very unprofessional. Get you a look at him. Little Brimbo. He got me good. Actually got me in the foot as well. 
for you guys. Down to the depths. So obviously running hook wins the bait and tackle style. All right, the guy knows stuff, so you go to what you know, all right, especially in these conditions. Less chance of getting snagged too with this rig. All right, just feed it through the head. Sorry, get a better view. All right, here we go back like that. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's a red side always up. That's probably a little bit, it's a smaller bait, so they're gonna take it, rub it and bite at it. With all the fresh water, uh, it's more likely there's gonna be worms in the water, wash off, so they're more likely to, uh, I think, hit the, uh, hit the worm. So there's a rock here. We're casting just behind that rock. So it's gonna come out of that into the main channel and just bump down the bottom. So that's what I was just doing, just cast it out there. Let it sit for a little, or eventually hit the bottom. All right. Probably spooked those ones that are hit there now. There was a few there, had a couple of hits. And now, here we go, another one. I think once it hits the bottom, it's bouncing, it's waving in the running sinker. They're definitely having a go. What I have to do sometimes, get it back down there, I let that line go. It's like free spooling. Let it try to sink back down because of the current. Give another opportunity to hit the bottom. See if they're still there. Yeah, they're there. So it's hit the bottom. Oh, just missed him. Just missed him, had it in his mouth. Do it again, if he hasn't taken it off the hook. So just small little taps. You just want to make it wave in the in the water. Current's going this way. You want it to sit up and just wave around. They hit it when it's still, or not still, but when it's I'm not pulling. So it just sits down. And I think they've got me. And they mugged me. He had the tail, I think. Yeah, he had the tail. I tried to bite it in half, actually. Look at that. Right in half. Bastard. Most of a good bait there. Oh, wow, it's hard fought. This water's dirty as. It's another little brim. Right up against the edge. Same size as last. Right on the edge. Hurry up. It's fucking hard today. Huh? Come, buddy, come. The water's so dirty. So freaking dirty. Just got into. It's very light in colour, small brim. There it goes. On the uh, Daiwa, there's the Slim Swim, made oil. Right on the edge there. Hit the rock actually. It's a bit closer than that actually. Yeah, the conditions have got bad, so. Fish on. First cast in this spot. I think it's a flatty. It feels like a flatty. Oh, it's a flatty. Nice flatty. Come on, come on, flat, flat. Yeah! Psycho flathead. On the edge. On the edge. Oh, bit slimy. Oh, he's gonna go crazy now. Sitting on the edge near that tree over there. There's a tree on the floor there. On the floor. In the water. Just cast right there, he was sitting right there. So, a couple of brim, the weather's changed, fishing's got a little bit better. He's a good size, he's a nice eating size. Right, I don't feel like cleaning fish today in the rain. It's good eating size, that one. Maybe what, 40 something? 40s? All right, get him back and go again. So, got the flatty, 
in the mouth with a hook but shaking about so you can see this is why you change okay you gotta change see bang always check your leader after retie all right it's afraid to the shitty ass i did get him in the mouth but still shaking about maybe in the boat i don't know but uh all right so tip of the day check the leader retie all right we'll go again have i got a fish here or what oh flathead i was just moving the boat angry little flathead I was just moving the boat along. I wasn't paying attention. Mid pliers. Little flat flat. Alright, we'll get him. Edge of the boat. Get his out of his mouth without hurting him too much. wasn't paying attention. Oh, it just broke me off. There you go. That's what happens when you muck around with fish too much. It's alright, the hook will rust out. She'll be back. So that's getting in another edition of Taff Fishing. Back home, heading back home now. Uh, the rain, the wind was too much. Uh, the fish started to bite at the end there, so uh, the small flat at the end. I was just tidying up the boat, uh, getting it ready before I went back to the, the uh, boat ramp. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Not a bad little session, two hours, a bit over two hours sesh. I got the Minn Kota out. So um, for the conditions and the muddy water, it wasn't bad. I was uh, hoping for that dew fish in the morning. Um, I tried for about, I don't know, an hour in certain spots, the deep water spots in Barrera, um, and no takers. So, Next time, maybe we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, you've got to put the effort in with dew fish, you put the hours in, constant hours in for that one fish, um, and that's not much fun for footage. But uh, we'll see what happens anyway. So, uh, thank you for watching. All those who are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, hit that like button. If you have, hit the share button and hit the subscribe button. Uh, be good, be kind, be safe, and I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.